Hello my friends, welcome back to What The K, where we test out Korean beauty products to decide whether they are worth your time and money. Today, we are gonna be playing with some bee vomit. Yup, no, it's not really bee vomit, but it is made from 90% bee products. So, uh, yeah, is it all just buzz? Or is it worth your money? <laughs> We're gonna find out right now. I was attracted to this product because I had done some research on honey in skincare products when I had tried a product to buy skin food for What The K. I will link that video down below. It was a honey lip balm that had no honey in it. So I was like, well, I wonder, you know, how much better would it be with the honey in it? So I did some research and I found out that honey is actually a really great ingredient for skincare. At least that's what some research says. I feel like there really isn't enough research in skincare in general. General. It's like everything I research, it ends up being, well, some, some says this and some say this and some say there isn't enough research behind it. I just wish that they put more into it. I really do. But anyway, I saw this on Hot Look. They now have a Korean skincare section on their beauty section. Occasionally through the week, they'll have a Korean skincare brand or a makeup brand there. So this is where I found it. And yeah, it was 15 bucks for this giant thing. Thing. And this is huge. It's this big jar and then you unscrew this and then it's just open at the top and inside There's this like gelatinous looking stuff. It's actually not as thick as it looks in the jar uh, But yeah, it was it's very interesting. It smells like it smells like real true honey not like that fake stuff you get at Popeyes on your biscuits like not that like the real stuff that you would get in like from like a bee vendor at a fair or something like that. You guys ever see those? I know at our like our Renaissance fair and stuff, they have a place called the Bee Folk at our Renaissance fair, and they sell all of the um, beeswax products and honey products and things like that. But yeah, that's what it smells like is like real legit honey, not like that fake stuff. So anyway, they also give you a little spatula to dig in and get the product out. I can tell you right now, I really don't like this packaging. I don't think it's functional, especially the more you get into it, it's gonna be more difficult to get the product out functionally. I did read a little bit about this on Reddit and a couple of other sources and they were saying you can buy pumps for it, but it's like, come on, man. Like, I, I don't know, I really don't like the packaging at all. I was able to find this since it isn't available on Holook anymore. I was able to find it on Amazon for $20.73 from Cynic. And then I got, um, I also found it at Boutique for $27. And I did pay the $15 plus the $6 shipping on Holook. So I got a pretty good deal on it. I mean, it's a ton of product. Uh, did I even say what this is? It's the Cynic Honey All-in-One Ampoule. It's a Cynic Honey All-in-One Ampoule. Makes your skin moist and soft with honey extract. And it's got a cutie little bee on there. My first question was, what in the world is an ampoule? <laughs> because I'd heard of it before, I tried some products, I think I've tried an ampoule before in, in a Korean product. I don't think for what the K, but otherwise, but I still didn't know what in the world it was or what it did. So I did a bunch of research and I looked into the 10 steps in a traditional Korean skincare routine. Step one is an oil cleanser. That's what I used on my face before I started filming. I'm using Clinique's Take the Day Off, which of course isn't Korean, but I use that. I didn't use a foam cleanser because I didn't wear any makeup today. I didn't feel like I needed to double double cleanse. And then uh, the next one is an exfoliator. I exfoliate my face three days a week, two to three days a week. I did not do that today. Next is a toner. And I didn't use a toner today because this is supposed to be your toner, your essence, and your serum all in one. An ampoule is kind of like, uh, I saw some websites where they were saying an ampoule is the same thing as a serum. It's just a different name for it. Some people are saying, you can use it along with serums, you can kind of layer it, uh, but they say, this brand says you don't need a serum along with it. After that, the seventh step is a mask. I don't typically do masks except for maybe once a week. Uh, and then an eye cream, a face cream, and then your SPF if you are going out in the sunlight. I decided I'm gonna go with what it says to do and just use this after my cleanser. So my face feels a little bit tight and dry right now from the take the day off. It's not super dry, but it definitely has a little 
little bit of that just cleanse tightness to it. Uh, but before we apply it, I do want to go into some of the ingredients because the serums and the ampoules in Korean skincare, the thing is, is it's supposed to be like everything packed together, like not a lot of fillers, just straight up good ingredients. And the ingredients in here are kind of ridiculous <laughs> as far as the amount of good ingredients according to the research that I've done. So the number one ingredient is honey extract. Honey extract is known to be skin soothing, antioxidant, has vitamins, it promotes wound healing and helps the skin retain moisture. The second ingredient is glycerin, which I love to see in skincare. It also helps retain moisture. Number three is water. Number four is niacinamide, which is a derivative of vitamin B3. It helps with like age spots and discoloring. It also can protect your skin from UV damage and it can reduce fine lines and wrinkles, redness, blotchiness, yellow skin, things like that. It's supposed to sim stimulate the circulation in your skin. It can also improve skin elasticity. So niacinamide is one of those that a lot of people really look for in their skincare. So I was excited to see that in here as well. It's also an anti-inflammatory and can help it treat acne. Now we get into more of the B products, the royal jelly extract. This is a secretion that the worker bees have that it's like the food for the queen bee. It can help heal wounds. It's an anti-aging ingredient. It's a moisturizer. It can also help skin regrowth. So if you have a blemish that you've recently like messed with and it, you know, you've got any kind of scarring, then that's something that this would help. The next one is propolis extract. And I thought propolis was something that directly came from bees, but it turns out that it not really. It's actually a resin-like material that comes from the buds of poplar and cone-bearing trees, but humans have a lot of trouble harvesting it, so they just let the bees harvest it and then they take it from the bees. It's an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. It fights bacteria and viruses and funguses. They actually use it to treat cancers. There was a warning on WebMD for this. It said that if you're allergic to bee by byproducts, including honey or conifers, poplars, Peru balsam or silicates, you should not use this product. If you're allergic to any kind of bee anything, you should not be using this product. And the next one is something that I'm having a difficult time pronouncing, Centelia az asiatica extract, I'm trying, and it's a perennial herb known as gutu cola, and it can help reduce swelling, improve circulation, wound healing, eczema, and psoriasis. So, I mean, this that's the seventh ingredient. There, there's no fillers in here, except for the water. Everything in here is like jam-packed awesomeness. Then we have polygonum cuspidatum root extract, also known as Japanese knotweed. You may have heard that red wine is good for you. It fights cancer, all of the those things. Japanese knotweed is another place that you can get resveratrol. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be butchering it. I'm sorry if I am, but it is an anti-aging ingredient and it may protect from UV damage. Uh, there is more proof for ingestion of it in the wine than there is topical application, but still I'm not hating that it's in here. And then something called Scutellaria biocalensis. Calensis? root extract. Its layman's name is Bacal Skullcap. It's an acne treatment. Uh, it also can treat eczema, psoriasis, and it is an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. It pr can protect against sunspots and sun damage. And then the 10th ingredient is Camilla Census Leaf Extract, which is green tea extract, which is one of my favorite ingredients in skincare. I've read so much about green tea and it just makes me really happy to see that in here. It's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti anti-aging ingredient. And the reason why I wanted to buy this is I did do a little bit of look into the ingredients before I purchased it. And the green tea made me super happy to see and a lot of the other things that seem to treat anti-aging because that's my biggest concern. Now, I also noticed that it could also help a lot of other people with a lot of other concerns, including dry skin, psoriasis, eczema, acne, things like that. So I really wanted to try this for you and show it to you. So enough with the jibba jabba. Let's go ahead and try this. Again, like I mentioned, I don't like the packaging. I did use it earlier today uh, because I wanted to see what it was like. One thing that I read about is they say specifically you are not supposed to use a lot of it. So I'm just going to, oh my goodness, it's dripping all over me. Oops. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's enough. That's plenty. <laughs> you're not supposed to use a lot of it and you're supposed to pat it into the skin. And I think I used way too much. That was not smart of me. Okay. Let's just spread it down. Okay, we're gonna try to scrape it off. Sorry, bad gen, bad demo, bad demo. I use way too much. But um, 
When I use less this morning, I have a feeling this is gonna end up drying very sticky, but when I used less this morning, it felt really, really good after my skin uh, dried down, after it absorbed. It takes a good five minutes for it to absorb into the skin, but after that, my skin felt so hydrated. It felt really, really good. I could feel the slightest layer of a film, so my plan was to use less of it right now, but I just totally failed on that. Um, but overall my skin felt so good. I can definitely smell the honey in it. Like I could definitely uh, put, smell that smell. The last thing I wanted to mention about the ingredients that I forgot to mention is it does have fragrance in it. It's like the second to last ingredient on there. There's also a ton of other ingredients. I just researched the first 10 because there were just too many ingredients. I couldn't, I couldn't spend another like hour looking at the ingredients. Uh, so overall, I mean, right now I can already feel that it's into the skin. My skin does feel a little bit tacky, but in the next few minutes, it will totally go away. I am absolutely loving this. I'm loving it so much that I actually think I'm going to give this one to my mom or buy my mom one. My mom, if you don't know, if you've been on my periscopes and things, you might know this. My mom has been, has gotten some skin cancer removed from her. Uh, she spent a lot of time in the sun as a child. And also during my childhood, we spent a lot of time in the sun lathering up with baby oil, things like that. Um, and she has developed some skin cancer cancer from sun exposure. So I think this would be really, really good for her. I love the ingredients in it and it makes me super, super happy. Uh, it, of course, it's going to take a while to see actual results from this. So this is really just the first impression. And I'm just really excited to show this to you because I think that this is, based on the ingredients, a fantastic product. And I'm definitely going to be uh, repurchasing this and giving this, I think I'm gonna give this one to my mom because it's so amazing. I want her to have it. And then I'll um, I'll buy another one for me off of Amazon. You get a giant amount of product in here. I feel like they could be selling this thing for $60 easy instead of 20. I wouldn't be surprised if once people start catching on to the ingredients in this, like the Reddit threads are blown up with amazing reviews of this. Amazon has amazing reviews of it. Everybody seems to love it. So I think that the price may go up once they realize and the sales go up. So I'm stocking up now. I would imagine this would last a really, really long time though. I mean, it's a lot of product. Uh, it's a 12 month expiration. It's 250 milliliters. I mean, that's just insane. So right now I'm very, very happy with it. I would definitely recommend it. It's one of my favorite products that I've tried for What the K. And again, I will link the purchase links down below. I do not benefit from your purchase in any way. This is not a sponsored video. I just really want to share it with you because I think it's amazing. So I want to thank you so much for watching What the K this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. It definitely helps helps me a lot. And also I will be linking down below the What the K video from last week and there will be a subscribe link down below if you'd like to subscribe to my channel to see more. There will not be a What the K next week. I will be in Iceland next Sunday so I won't be able to film What the K but there will be a What the K the following week. So thank you again so much for watching. Mad love and I will see you in a video soon.